What's up, gentlemen? Hey, good morning. You're you guys, you guys look fabulous. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? He's still alive. Running away. <laughs> Run away. Run away. some coffee. All right, man. Good to see you, man. Thanks, man. Just like clockwork. Wheels and Waves, we're here with Paul Moyer, who has a legendary career. Well, I don't even know how to put that into words. Man. Well, you, you just did. You put 50 years into words, and that's enough. 50 years into that's words. Uh, you know, you never know who's going to show up at the show, and you decided to come down because um, well, uh, Bill I, Parr I, called me and said, hey. Bill Parr said, hey, you know, why don't you come down to, to Fireball? I said, who the hell is Fireball? What, what kind of name is that? that? I get that quite often, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And we go to Marmalade for breakfast, my wife yeah. and I, a lot. And right. I love these little car shows. This isn't so little anymore. It's getting no. bigger, isn't it? It's doing really well. But so, I just, I love getting up at four in the morning on Sunday. You know, who doesn't, right? <laughs> what, what are you doing with your time now? You, you're, uh, you're retired? And uh, you had a stellar career. I, you know, and now I'm, you're driving this I've been incredible Ferrari. I've been, I, thank you. I've been retired for what eight years now, yeah. and uh, for a while it was pretty difficult. Yeah. Seriously, it was a tough time. Yeah. But now, man, you know, listen, I'm loving it. I'm at peace. Uh, so, what are you driving? I got uh, just picked that up. Uh, 458 sorry, sorry. Italian. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I had one uh, in 2010 for about 15 minutes and sold it. I had a bunch of Ferraris. I don't have any more, and I wanted to get back into the club. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I think we chance, can make that happen. I had a chance to buy that, uh, 2013 with 3,000 miles on it, and uh, I love it. Yeah, Great fantastic. Car. We're getting a selfie right at the exact same time. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> this is very strange. You know, back in my day, you had to get a huge camera. I know. With, uh, with a sound guy, a light guy, and a right. camera guy. Yeah, and now it's now a tiny little box. It's yeah, awesome. Well, let's go take a look at your car. Okay.
We may have lost someone, so we're waiting here for a minute. What's up, Michael? You're still here! All right, buddy. All right. What's up, boy? Yes! Okay. I thought we lost that. Uh, catch up. A few cars have to catch up with us. We got about, looks like 15 cars going on this thing, so it looks pretty good. Spectacular. dropped off the 38 Ford which is over here and now we're driving this thing on the way back I'm gonna stop for something to eat real quick car from the Fukushima nuclear accident there it's like radiating Persistence and determination pay off. How many times have you heard that? Now, when I first decided to do a car show, there was a lot of unanswered questions, a lot of things that you have to kind of juggle around to see whether they can work. But through persistence and determination, you'll always get there. Wheels and Waves continues to grow and expand, and uh, uh, I'm just so grateful for, for the people involved. My team, uh, everything, everybody from Ken and Wes and Michael Axon and Greg from the Automobile Drive Museum, and now David Neal from the Murphy Museum, who has stepped in and is doing a lot of great stuff. Now, I've always got to express thank you to those guys, but I also want to thank you guys for coming to the show. Uh, Paul Moyer for hanging out with us. Bill Parr, thank you so much for hooking us up with him, and to everybody who brought a cool car, because that's what it's about. Big thanks to Bill Parr, who uh, gave me this t-shirt. It's a little bit too big for me, but it's something that Kathy would want to wear. Check it out, MSA, that's now the Surfing Association. And this is Bill's photo. He's a surf photographer. Check that out, isn't that cool? Yeah, he's really good at that. But what I think I need to do with this shirt is this. Thank you. Persistence and determination pays off. Now, I also want to make a quick announcement. Uh, this is kind of a wave coming, so it's going to kind of creep in. First of all, some of you have may heard that I have a new book coming. I certainly have a book coming. It's another coloring book. It's for kids. It's for adults. It's for everyone. whoever wants to color. I loved coloring as a kid. I still love to draw, and I want to give that to you guys. So, this new coloring book, check it out. Here's the cover. Fireball Tim Beach Life Coloring Book. It's chock full of all kinds of ocean life, sea life, beach life stuff. Stuff that's just all cool. My goal to try and bring you guys a book once a month, uh, once every other month, something like that. We got a lot of really fun stuff coming, but this book is going to be available within a week, probably less. You'll be able to get it on Amazon along with my other books. I want you guys to pick up one of these copies. I want you to do one of these drawings or give it to your kids and fill it in. You know, take a picture of it, send it to me so I can share it with everybody else. And it can be a scary thing sometimes to do what you love and try to find a way to get paid for it. But one thing's for sure, one thing's for sure. You never know unless you try. So identify what you love. Get out there and do it. Don't listen to anybody telling you that you can't or all the hard things that you might have to go through in order to achieve it. Just take action, just a little bit each day and let that grow and evolve. You know that God, the universe, whatever it is, helps those that help themselves. So get off your ass. What are you doing? You listening down in there? You listening? 